composting. This is nature's way of recycling. Now students, you should all feel very proud of yourselves. And that is because San Francisco is the first city in the nation to use the green bin in the cafeteria. That means that you are some of the first students in the United States to compost your lunches at school. We can put things like leftover food, including things we don't eat, like eggshells, chicken bones, and banana peels into the green composting bin. Any dirty paper from your lunch can also go into the green bin. Remember though, no plastic should ever go into our green composting bin. If you need a reminder, review the compost signs in your cafeteria or around campus. Now, once we fill up our green bin with leftover food scraps, dirty paper, and yard waste, the garbage company comes to pick it up and takes it to Modesto City where everything in our green bin gets placed into a huge grinder and it's grounded up into tiny, tiny pieces. Then it's piled into long rows, just like the ones we see here. And in just 60 days, we have fresh, healthy compost. Now, compost looks just like regular dirt, it feels just like regular dirt, and it even smells just like regular dirt, but it's so much better. It's full of vitamins and nutrients and gardeners and farmers mix it into their soil to help grow delicious fruits and vegetables. A lot of San Francisco's compost is actually used in wine vineyards in Napa. Even though we should compost and recycle most of our items, there are some things that can't go into the blue or green bin and they should be put into the trash can. We put things like soft plastic wrappers, juice pouches and styrofoam into the landfill bin. We are really lucky here in San Francisco because we don't have to send everything to the landfill. We can compost and recycle it instead. And students, we put the word landfill on our signs to remind us of what happens to everything that we put into the trash. Now, there are also some things that we never put into any of the three bins. Just like we mentioned with cell phones, these materials are called hazardous waste. Hazardous waste are items that contain dangerous and toxic chemicals. If we put hazardous waste items into the landfill, it can potentially start a fire, or as we mentioned earlier, the dangerous chemicals will be exposed to the workers that manage our waste. So how do we dispose of these hazardous waste materials? Well, for batteries, we put them into a plastic Ziploc bag, and then we place it on top of our black bin at home. Medicine should never go into any of the bins. Through our safe medicine disposal program, we make envelopes available to you at your local library. You or a parent can go into any library and get an envelope and mail in any unused medicine for safer disposal. There are also safe medicine disposal sites at many pharmacies and police stations in the city. Some light bulbs are considered part of the hazardous waste program. Your parent or guardian can contact your ecology to set up a free hazardous waste pickup or find a drop site near you on our website. If you are unsure where something goes, you can always go on our website called sfrecycles.org and double check. The city and county of San Francisco believes that achieving zero waste is possible. Zero waste is first about preventing waste, to reduce and reuse as much as possible before buying new, then about recycling and composting. Students, you are already helping lead the nation. Every time you use the composting and recycling bins at school, what may seem like a small action is actually part of a global movement. And one day, students all across the United States will be composting their lunches too and they'll only be doing it because you did it here first in San Francisco. So you should all feel very proud of yourselves. Already, we are seeing youth organizing and participating in global climate strikes to demand action on the climate crisis. Youth are advocating for environmental justice and bringing attention to issues that go alongside it, such as the waste problem. And there are so many ways for you to participate in this zero waste movement. At a local level, SF Environment awards the annual Waste Zero Hero Award. 
This award is given to any individual or group of youth participating in projects or activities that promote zero waste in their schools. If you want to get more involved, you can join the San Francisco Bay Area chapter of the international organization Zero Waste Youth. This group is formed of students and young professionals aiming to develop and promote concepts for a zero waste future. Now students, after this presentation, there will be three follow-up activities to test your knowledge on your waste sorting skills and to review all the material we covered today. The first activity will be a Kahoot zero waste sorting game. Your teacher should have provided the link for this game. Once you obtain the link, make sure to click on it and it should direct you to a site that looks similar to the one we see here on screen. Make sure that the title matches the one we see here. You can enter in a randomized nickname and answer all 41 questions to test your knowledge on what goes where. The second activity will be another Kahoot game to review all the material we covered within the presentation. When you get the link, click on the link and it should direct you to a website that looks just like the one we see here on screen. Make sure that the title matches the one on your screen. You can enter in a randomized nickname and answer all 20 questions. The final activity is a Google form survey. Your teacher should have provided the link, otherwise, you can pull out your smartphone if you have one and open up the camera app on your phone. Point it at the QR code we see here on screen and it should direct you to the Google Form survey. Otherwise, you can type in the URL down in your search bar and it should take you to a site that looks just like the one we see here on screen. Make sure to answer all of these questions as thoroughly as possible. Now students, I just want to say thank you for doing your part to help move the zero waste movement forward. If you have any questions, comments, or want to request any material and signs, please make sure to contact Gianna Rivera Fizioli. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day.